and the hatch opened at 9.13 a.m. Central Time. It's 14.13 GMT, 7.13 for the teams over in Hawthorne. So now they're going to install that hatch seal and a cover over the hatch itself and then start making their way on board the station. But the hatch is open. Nothing but space in between Crew Dragon Endeavor and the space station. And we're just standing by for the crew to start making their way through. Again, the hatch open on Dragon. So hatch open on the station side uh, some time ago. Hatch now open on Dragon. They've got a couple of steps just to prepare Dragon for docked. Uh, it's docked configuration. And then we should start to see them make their way through the pressurized mating adapter and into the International Space Station. So continuing to stand by, uh, we can see uh, the AX-1 astronaut still inside Dragon. And we should see them start making their way out momentarily. So Expedition 67 Commander Tom Marshburn making his way down, and there we are. So Aton Sibby, first one through, followed shortly after by Mark Pathy making his way onto the space station. Looks like just behind him is going to be Larry Connor, the pilot for the AX-1 mission. Now through the hatchway into node two. Mark adjusting our camera angle for us. And then making his way out of a spacecraft named Endeavor onto the space station for the second time. Uh, no stranger to the orbiting lab, Mike Lopez Alegria. So with the entire AX-1 crew now on board, uh, we're going to spend a couple minutes just getting everybody set up, and then we'll be able to kick off our welcome ceremony. that we're taking a look we'll let you know
So we can see the crew gathering here in No2 in the Harmony module. The Expedition 67 crew welcoming the AX-1 astronauts on board. Uh, there's still a couple of steps to get through. And then once we're uh, done with our initial configs on board, we'll be able to we'll be able to get into this welcome ceremony. Okay, comp check, five, four, three, two, one. How do you copy? And we're hearing you. And station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Everybody loud and clear. Station is ready for the event. Kathy Leaders, this is Mission Control, Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Hey, I think we already did that. I think, hey, I think we already did that. Oh, I apologize. Think we, already did that. we can hear you loud and clear. Thank you. Tom, I don't know if you muted again. The microphone is, is on, and we uh, read you loud and clear, and we're ready to speak with you. Okay, well, I had an old boss whose his, uh, his greatest praise was when you heard some, him say, nicely done. Old? <laughs> oh, well, oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, all I can say is uh, nicely done, and, and to the whole team, um, the SpaceX, Axiom, station team, and, uh, you know, Mike here, uh, I know that the, ex the Expedition 67 crew is very happy to see your crew. Um, I know Mike and I are very happy to see all of you there and, and seeing the new crew coming on board, um, looking so uh, healthy and happy to be there, and I'm Personally, very happy to see how, how good the Expedition 67 crew looks also. Raja, I didn't know you grew a mustache. So um, it's, it's, always, it's always fun to see um, our crews there getting ready to go do a lot of work. I know the team has a lot of things lined up to do over this next week. And uh, this is going to be important for us to be able to work as a team for our Expedition 67 folks to get the important work that they need to get done. But then, Mike, obviously your team to be able to get their work done too. So we're looking forward to see all the exciting things that are going to be going on and, uh, and then seeing everybody make it safely home. Hey, Tom, this is, uh, this is Seth. Can you guys hear us? Good to hear you, Seth. We can read you loud and clear. Great. Well, first, um, let me let me thank you and uh, Expedition 67 crew for uh, welcoming our crew on board. Um, we're very excited to uh, to be there, of course. Uh, Mike, Larry, Aton, Mark, you guys look great. Uh, the the uh, Dragon ride looks like uh, uh, that sat with you well. Uh, so. Um, First, I'll say uh, thanks to our to our SpaceX team for getting you there. Uh, we that was really awesome. Uh, my thanks to NASA for uh, for hosting us and to the entire crew. You know, we've been talking about this uh, history making mission for a long time, so we're going to stop talking about it now and just get on with it. So, uh, you guys have a great uh, a great mission. We look forward to it. And uh, and with that, I'll hand it over to uh, LA to uh, do the pinning ceremony.
Hey, Mike and Kathy, uh, thanks for greeting us on board. I got to tell you, this is it's quite an experience. Um, I, I can't even begin to describe how fun it's been to be in Dragon for the last day and a half or so watching um, these guys' faces light up. True story. You know, we had just reached uh, orbit and getting out of our suits, and I was, you know, busy at uh, doing commander stuff. And one by one, I could hear them say, expletive deleted, as soon as they looked out the window. I, literally every single one of them. And I just smiled a little bit. And then when I got my turn to look at it, same expletive. It's just an amazing experience. Anyway, um, you know, there's a tradition that when you cross a certain boundary, and that boundary is debatable, but in the United States, it's 50 miles, uh, you become an astronaut in altitude. And uh, that happened to these three gentlemen for the first time yesterday. Um, it was a pretty exciting moment. We were in the middle of first stage, but we noted it. And now I'd like to note it a little more officially. Um, there is a very special pin that NASA astronauts wear that is gold and designed by the original Mercury 7. But um, until recently, there has been no internationally recognized pin. So none of the other five, or I should say other four space agencies, nor do the Chinese that I know of have a symbol that people wear in civilian clothes for, um, for commemorating that they're astronauts. So a little while ago, the Association of Space Explorers, which encompasses a lot of members from 38 different countries of flown astronauts, uh, decided to commission such a pin. And I happen to have three of them in my hand. Tom, would you break them out for me? And uh, when I pin these on, I think the numbers will be 582, 583, and 584, respectively, for uh, Larry, Aton, and Mark. I hope they will wear these with the pride that they deserve. And then I'm going to let Larry say something while I pin his, etc. Yeah, well, first off, uh, probably words don't describe it. I mean, I'm thrilled and honored to be up here. Thanks to SpaceX, phenomenal ride. I mean, no pun intended, but out of this world. Thanks to uh, Axiom for making this uh, dream come true. Thanks to NASA. Thanks to all the crew. Unbelievably uh, welcome. And, yeah, we're here to experience this. But we understand there's a responsibility. And the responsibility is for this first civilian crew to get it right. And that's what we're fully committed to with the support of everybody here at the ISS and, uh, and on the ground. So it's going to be a busy week of research for us, and uh, I'm sure it's going to fly by. And now I'd like to turn it over to my friend, Aton. I'll take the opportunity. I need to press on. To say a few words in Hebrew on the International Space Station. ברוכים הבאים לתחנת החלל הבינלאומית, פעם ראשונה שאפשר לדבר פה בעברית. זכינו להיות חלק מצוות של 11 שנקרא Expedition 67. זה, זה קבוצת עבודה שתעבוד ביחד, כולנו ביחד נעזור אחד לשני להשיג את המטרות, כל אחד בא עם תוכנית עבודה מלאה. ובהצלחה לכולם, בהצלחה לרקיע. מרק. Thanks, Ethan. Uh, first off, I'd like to uh, like to thank our hosts here at the ISS for the warm welcome. It was uh, really great to be looking up uh, through the closed hatch and see you guys making your way to us, and then to come on board and and be so uh, so warmly greeted by all of you. That was great. Thanks a lot, and looking forward to spending the next uh, few days. Sorry, I, I got to forget to, to look look up there. Um, next few days here with all of you. <laughs> And uh, wow, it's just amazing to be here. Um, it's it's hard to find find the words, but uh, it's been an amazing journey. And I don't, I'm not just talking about the last 24 hours. I'm talking about uh, everything that's got us here. It's it's been it's been amazing. And thanks to to uh, Mike and all the folks at Axiom uh, for uh, for hatching this plan and, and getting it going, and and to SpaceX and NASA for uh, for making it happen as well. Thanks, everyone. And, and, and sorry, last but definitely not least, uh, all my family and friends who, uh, whose love and support made this possible. Thanks, 
And we just want right. to say the uh, Expedition 67 crew, all of us are incredibly thrilled and excited to welcome Axiom on board. And uh, on this historic uh, day for uh, continued, we expect long-term uh, cooperation with uh, NASA, with our international partners, and with private companies and private astronauts. So we're ready to go to work. Thank you. Godspeed, everybody. Thank you, guys. Have fun. Okay, with that, AX-1 officially welcomed on board the International Space Station.